The brutality intenseness. They did New York well. That is not Hollywood like that. Let's go! What's up, Geek Gang? This is Lainey from Geek by Heart here to talk about another movie. We are going to talk about Scream 6. So strap in, strap on for the good, bad, and the ugly. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna talk about the good first. Remember, this is a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen it, stop, bookmark this video, and then come back when you have. You still with us? Let's go. All right, that first scene, listen. Flash from the Tom Holland um, Spider-Man, I want more of him. I want more of him. He was a nice killer. He was smooth, suave, and I want more of him. I really thought we were going to get more of him, but, Listen, you know there's gotta always be a subversion of something and the first kill was not really the first kill that we was going to be looking for. It was for his death. However, looking at his character and seeing how he fits into the um, into the screen mythos already, even though he only had about five minutes, he could have been in the entire movie and I would have been so happy for it. All right, now the movie is brutal and tense. Gone is the stupid campiness of Scream 3 and 4 and the continuation of the brutal intensity of Scream 5 and a ramp it up a notch in Scream 6. You are not gonna be disappointed. What you see in those trailers, it is there in full body form in the entire film and it is all the better for it. This might be a controversial pick, but I'm still gonna talk about it anyway. It is not debatable. We should have seen Nev Campbell because Nev Campbell should have got her coins. The Scream franchise would not be the same without Nev Campbell, period, full stop. With that being said though, I did not miss her, not one bit. I feel like this, if it was organic, if it wasn't like, yo, they wanted Nev to be in it, but they didn't want to give her her money. If it was like, okay, we're just going to go in a different route and this is the film that we are presenting because of that different route, it would have made so much sense. It would have been a good example of how a requel, okay, gives the flowers to their legacy, like in the fifth film, all right, with Nev Campbell, Dewey, they killed, all right, Gail, she did survive, okay. Gail being back in the sixth one, but taking a way lesser role, it made sense, okay? And that Sydney was like, yo, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing this anymore. You know what I mean? That made sense. And I think that the cast itself, because they were able to shine, because everything was on them, made for a better film, okay? If they don't bring Sydney back in the seventh one, because you can tell the way that it ends, it's gonna be a seventh. All right, it would be a shame, but again, they should have thought from the onset, after the fifth one, let's pivot. So it's really a shame that they didn't give her her money, Nev Campbell her money, but for the story itself, I, I, I personally think it was a good look. It was interesting to see that there was definitely some Easter eggs. I mean, besides the whole shrine, okay? We're not gonna go in there because obviously there was a whole bunch of Easter eggs in there, but there was two like, in passing Easter, Easter eggs that I'm like, oh, this is just gonna set up for the final reveal. I only see that after the fact and not while I was watching it. But I don't know if you saw that Tara was like, oh, I might be pudging Omega Beta Zeta. You do know that Sarah Michelle Gellar's um, character in the second scream, she was Omega Beta Zeta as well. All right, and the fact that the last scene was in a theater rings the scream too. So after watching it, it's like, oh, those two little things really go to Scream 2 as much as the killer reveal, and we will talk about that in the bad. All right, so let's talk about the bad. Especially how they had the Easter eggs. I did tell you this is a spoiler review. The killer, killers, are Richie's father and his two siblings. Mrs. Loomis, anyone? Really? Really? I, when they showed that shrine scene, Okay, and you can look back in my trailer review of Scream 6. I was really, really hoping for a cult angle. I wanted a fresh ghost face that was not associated with any of the core group whatsoever. I 
felt like they were going or they could have gone for that. When you had flashes, I keep calling them flash, I don't care. When you had Flash's um, character in the very beginning, and not only that, he was with somebody else, and they were like, we're gonna finish Richie's movie. That would have been okay. Go for that. Why they didn't go for that, I'm not sure. They were like, all right, we're just gonna get the generic, um, Richie was the killer in the fifth one, and now his family's in the killer in the sixth one. It was such a letdown watching it. Kirby was unmemorable. Waste. Sorry. Next. All right, at this point, we gonna talk about the ugly. All right, let's go. So Sam should have kept her mask. I think that first, it is actually very interesting to see Sam deal or try to deal with this growing or hopefully growing bad girl inside her. I think to me personally, it's stupid. It was stupid in the fifth one. And now it's even more stupid in the sixth one that you have her dad, whom she's never met, mind you, okay? That image talking to her. I think it would have been a lot more interesting if it would have been subtle acting and nonverbal acting to see a difference in how she is thinking and what she's feeling and how she is going to kill or execute or defend herself. Okay, like for instance, that last, very last kill, I don't think it was even needed that she should have gotten like her sister's um, forgiveness or whatever to do it. She shouldn't have to look at her sister and be like, oh yeah, but you fuck with my family. No, she should have, it should have been like an automatic switch that like, I feel like I'm going to let him live. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> kill. You know what I mean? That's what should have happened. It should have been things of that nature so that you knew that she is turning to be or starting to be psychotic. You don't have to force feed us, okay? And I feel like that is a missed opportunity. Yo, there is no way, okay, that first you have four core main characters and the way that some of them got sliced and diced up, Chad should be dead. Gail should be dead. Kirby, again, should be dead. Dead, dead, dead. So that means I'm gonna have a bigger um, body count in Scream 7, right? Cause that's really what should come. All right, and that was my take on Scream 6. Comment below about what did you think? Did you like the film? Did you not like the film? Did you even see the film? I hope that you did, because again, we were talking about spoilers, all right? If this is your first time here, don't let it be your last. Hit that subscribe button. Let us know what you think. Hit notifications so you know when we have a new upload. I am Lainey, this is Geek by Heart, and we will see you when we see you when we see you. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,